Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Number talks have been a focus of the Limestone District School Board for a few years now as a part of its renewed math strategy. Today on Learning in Limestone, we'll see how these activities contribute to student achievement and engagement in math. You've been using Number Talks with your students for a few years now as a part of your school learning plan. How do Number Talks promote learning? Uh, students have many opportunities to work with numbers through Number Talks. So they are working on developing their mental math computational strategies so that they can become more flexible in their thinking around numbers as well as developing efficient strategies to solve these problems mentally. What types of Number Talks do these students do? A typical, typical number talk lasts 15 minutes, and in our class we do dot talks, 10 frame talks, rec and rec talks, rec and recs are math racks, and addition and subtraction talks. Um, in each talk it focuses on a different, different aspect of number. So for example, when we're working with the 10 frames and the rec and recs, we're looking at systems of 10 as well as doubles. And in a dot talk, it, strategies that might come out have to do with decomposing and composing numbers. How does each of these activities support student achievement and engagement? Students are really engaged in number talks. They are becoming much more confident math thinkers. Uh, um, they are confident in sharing their strategies and always very excited to share with their peers or, or with me as their teacher. They are also transferring these skills to other areas of the math curriculum quite easily as a result of this continued daily practice. What changes have you seen in your students towards their attitude towards math? They are really excited about math. They look forward to it in, in our day. They love challenging themselves and sharing their strategies and building upon strategies previously learned. Um, as well, I've noticed that through number talks, they are much more comfortable with making mistakes and they've realized that that's just part of learning. The Limestone Board's math strategy involves not only increased student achievement, but also increased educator knowledge about math. How does this collaboration work? Well, when educators are able to plan together for instruction with a common goal, everyone benefits, but most particularly the students. So Ms. Pennell and I meet together once a week. We look at where her students are at, what their need is, and how we can um, best plan for that. We plan together, we go into the classroom, we co-teach a lesson, and in the moment, we see, we reflect together um, to see if what we're doing is having an impact on the students. And if it isn't, then we change in real time and are able to change our instruction to meet the needs of the students. So in this way, it's a really meaningful, deep, rich learning environment where we're all learning together and um, we're growing as educators just to provide a, a, a more pow powerful um, environment for the students. How do number talks and these types of activities support the board's renewed math strategy? Well, as part of the renewed math strategy for Ontario, Limestone District School Board created a vision for an effective math program. And one of the components of this vision is fluency and flexibility. So a time where students work with numbers, about a 15 minute period per day where they work with numbers, they break down numbers, become really flexible with them and proficient. We might think sometimes some of it is looking at our basic facts. A lot of this is done mentally and through mental math strategies, it's, it's when kids look at numbers and based on the two specific numbers, they decide what strategy they're going to use because sometimes some are more effective than others. We use mental math strategies even though we have the technology at our fingertips to do these calculations, but we want kids to have strategies in their head to be able to check for the reasonableness of answers. Right. It's that flexibility. Students who have number sense are able to show flexibility in their thinking. They are able to reason, make sense, and understand the relationships between numbers. Here at Fairfield, we love math! Learning in Limestone is brought to you by the Limestone District School Board.